Hi, I'm Chris Clark, Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis. We're the crowd presenters of the 20th annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. And I can't believe it's been 20 years we've been doing this event and it's one of our favorites to produce. There is a bunch of angles uh, that we're gonna talk about in the next five to 10 minutes uh, with Lynn Venhaus and uh, mother of director Charlie Venhaus um, of this film <laughs> Daddy Eat Dog, which was written and conceived by Charlie's brother and Lynn's other son Tim, who tragically and unfortunately passed away. Um, and they decided to pick up the mantle of this unfinished comedic masterpiece <laughs> and make it to the best to, of their ability and knowledge and homage. Um, and you know what, that's a beautiful story just right then and there. So, you know, thanks for spending time with us today. Um, Lynn is here and, and Charlie, you're in New York. Yep. Uh, and we've all survived a bunch of loss um, in the last couple of years and, and recent chaos in the world. Um, so, but let's go back in time to the, you know, the beautiful story about making this film um, for Tim. Who's, right. you know, who's, who yeah. came up this first? Uh, you, Charlie? Or Ooh, ben, well, or? I've asked, I, I think it was my mom talking to my brother's friends um, saying that they wanted to make the movie. And my mom was like, okay, we have interest. Let's, let's get it. And she really took the reins and um, got it off the ground and produced, basically produced everything um, or set up everything, I should say. So mom, I don't know if you want to take a little deep dive of how you wrangled everybody up. All right. Well, Tim was uh, working on his MFA in screenwriting at DePaul University, and he had written this as a final in his screenwriting, his first screenwriting class. And he had had a consultation with the professor, and he said he had this idea, and he thought it was a little too dark, but the professor was go with it. He just thought it was really outrageous and so go with it. So they had a table reading in class and the script brought the house down and Tim sent it to everybody. Thank God he sent it to all of us. And he was so proud of it. And he came home for holiday break and he was just on fire and he was talking about it and he was kind of looking for his grade and he was working at a restaurant. And then unfortunately he passed away on December 9th, 2018. Well. I was, he was living in Chicago at the time. And so in January, Charlie and I went to clean his apartment out and we had made contact with his DePaul professors and said, we'd like to meet them. So we did, and we said, we're gonna produce this movie. Cause I had told Charlie in one of our drives that sure, Tim's friends wanna make it, but we should take the reins as the producers because then we'll get it made. Yeah. you know how people say oh let's make it so the professors encouraged us they were really happy about it and it just went from there we had uh charlie you can tell about your friends who helped direct the movie and i yep. got i i know local uh, actors because of my theater work and i just could vision spencer sickman as the lead jimmy and then it just snowballed all these people wanted to be a part of this as a tribute to tim and I took the script, which was written for Chicago, and also he had done three night shoots, which were incredible. And so we kind of adapted it, but I felt like Tim was, I was channeling Tim when I was working on the script. And also we threw in all these little Timisms. We threw some of his uh, clothes in it, um, mm -hmm. his, uh, his uh, weird Al Yankovic concert tour <laughs> t-shirt from 1996 yeah. and things like that so charlie tell, talk about the people that helped make this movie yeah well um just to take a step back when i yeah when tim sent it to me uh the script i read it twice immediately and died laughing both times it was like this has to get made before everything un you know unraveled um, so immediately i was like we definitely do need to get this made um, and my mom obviously she she really took the heavy lifting of this um to get this off the ground so i just want to say kudos to her if, if it wasn't for her obviously i don't think this would have happened um at all um and she actually we actually lined up a director and a cinematographer 
Um, that was one of Tim's close friends. Um, and unfortunately, he had to, um, he couldn't make it. Um, he called us two weeks prior to the film shooting when we had um, a couple of my, fr three people uh, from LA, my friends from LA coming. Um, one of Tim's friends from the East Coast flying in, um, and two weeks we didn't have a director or a cinematographer. So um, immediately I was like, I think I can direct this movie. I know Tim, um, I know how he would kind of want to go about it. Um, so I really kind of try to channel him um, throughout the whole thing. And luckily um, my two friends, uh, from LA. Uh, one is an editor. Um, he uh, is a freelance editor um, <coughs> who works on films. So he was able to really drive um, the production forward of what shots we needed, um, how he was going to edit it. Um, so he was a huge, massive help. And then also my other friend from LA who's um, also in the film, um, trying to be an actor. Um, he um, also has done PA work and was a major help as well. Um, so um, that's why there really is four directors in the credits because um, all, of, all of us really were the driving forces in um, getting the production um, and uh, the film uh, and directed um, during a three day shoot. So it was quite an, quite an effort all around. Absolutely. There, I mean, there's so much, you know, honor and sweetness and spirituality to the whole, everything from behind it. So, um, you know, maybe Lynn will cover her ears for a minute. So, Charlie, what's it like to work with as the, your mom being the producer? I know as an event producer myself, uh, well, it was <laughs> whip cracking when I need stuff done. Well, so. <laughs> it, was, it was funny because, um, well, I'm sure all of the all of the directors of all of these shorts have all horror stories um, when they're shooting the film. But immediately, um, our first scene, um, excuse me, there's a bug. Uh, <laughs> uh, a summer time. Immediately when uh, our first shoot was, um, we tried to shoot it on a car hood and that got scrapped immediately. And we had to rethink basically the entire, how we were gonna shoot the entire scene. And that took an extra, eight hours of the day mm -hmm. but um, my mom was sticking to the script while we had to think on the fly of what shots were actually realistic in our capabilities so she would just you know she would be in her own little world you know because we were directing and she would follow the script and all of a sudden she's like did you get this shot did you get this and I'm like we got it covered we're not doing this. It's going this way. <laughs> so I, I kind of had a, I don't know, let her know that whatever she was kind of thinking, it's not going to be that way, but we got it. We have it covered and uh, it's going to have to be a certain way just because of our capabilities and um, really just only being able to shoot so many things at once. So uh, it was definitely uh, a fly by the seat of our pants <laughs> type uh, shooting. In Lynn, Lynn B. Yeah. And Lynn, I, you know, I hardly know what to say. I mean, there's a piece of your heart that will be forever missing, but another section of it got bigger because you put together this story and hopefully it was made you feel better in some way. You know, that's an awkward way to phrase it, but <clears throat> you know, you, you worked through, I, unimaginable grief. You know, I've known m many mothers who have lost adult children and they're never the same ever. And you've worked through it beautifully and you've kept up, you know, doing what you do and you love and, you know, you just know how to survive. And, you know, what those beautiful tribute I, you know, I can think of in recent memory. So thank you for sharing this story with us. Um, Charlie, thank you for sharing your time and your story and supporting your mom in this crazy endeavor to make this crazy, weird, and very dark film that, <laughs> you know, you, you couldn't not do it. There was no way you couldn't not do it. And you had many struggles and it had to have been hard and there had to have been tears involved. I'm not going to talk about that right now because I'm trying not to cry myself. But, you know, thank you again for sharing this story and the time and the effort to do it. So, you know, this isn't the experience we had hoped for just share it in a big crowded theater so everyone can touch and hug and, and be together. But, you know, 
I hope this little bit helps and I hope we can share with audiences and by weird virtue of the fact that we're doing this online, um, you don't have to be in St. Louis. Um, you can watch it anywhere in the world. So, you know, we're able to share this message wider. So, you know, let's look for the positive in all this. You did, you found it. Um, so thanks again. Well, thank you. And we had kids and dog. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Don't need to be able to be horrified at what you've done, but you know, you did it. And it was just a bit, a bit of fun. It was a you know, funny thing to work on. You had to been some chuckles along the way and, you know, community oh, and family and everything created. So, you know, you'll always have this. So congratulations. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. And I uh, just want to throw some shout outs. I didn't say sure. the names, but Feel uh, free. yeah, the director, uh, the other directors, uh, Zach Wigman, who also edited uh, my friend from LA and John Robin, uh, also my friend who lives in LA and uh, Ryan Culberson. Um, we're all, all four of us together really got this thing uh, off the ground uh, during the, the production shooting of it. So I couldn't have done it without those guys. So um, it was, they were all huge help and had a piece of their, um, you know, flair uh, that's in the movie. So. And this was our first time. I've never been so exhausted in my life, but it was exhilarating, but it was the first time on the other side. So we got to see what that was like and just how you have to adapt everything and change. And, and the dog was great. <laughs> so yeah. it was, it was nice. And Tim said it in 1996. We don't know why, because we didn't get to ask him, but we kept that. We kept that vibe. We tried to keep everything 1996. And yeah. just I think you'll notice those subtle hits hints sure. of yeah, that sure. uh when you're watching the film so no, I had yeah. fun. I had fun the and, whole and we got all of the uh, all of tim's cousins for his first cousins yes i think uh, yes his first cousins first, second, made yeah. an appearance in the film okay well this has been um, a delight and a rare exception that i allowed the director's mom to participate in the q a <laughs> but this was entirely appropriate lynn you know i know you and love you and we've worked together you know for in different capacities in the film world for a long time uh, this has been great. So thanks again, and hope you have a wonderful, blessed afternoon. Thank you. And we thanks. hope this just brings a few little laughs to everybody in this crazy world. <laughs> All right. Talk soon. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.